Kevin. All right, take it, Kevin. All right, Kevin Coulomb, Jackie K. Cooper back here with our Academy Awards show. We're about to talk about the category of Best Actor. Uh, leading the way, Timothy Chalamet. I don't know if he's leading the way, but he was in a movie called Call Me By Your Name. Okay, the fact that he spells his name T-I-M-O-T-H-E-E -E -E -E. with a accent yeah. Blame on the, the first parents. Is Everybody that wants to, Everybody wants to be special. Nobody Timothy wants to spell it the normal Chalamet. way. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Daniel Day-Lewis from Phantom Thread. Um, Daniel Kaluuya, if I pronounce that incorrectly, I apologize, Daniel. He's the star of Get Out. I'm not sure if he's the star, but he is getting a nominee for Best Actor. Gary Oldman from The Darkest Hour. And kind of a surprise, and we'll certainly talk about this, Denzel Washington from Roman Israel Esquire. Roman J. J. Israel. Israel. Don't forget Esquire. about the J. That's right. Kind of like the K and Jackie K. Cooper. There you go. You've made it more famous. Esquire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start attaching that to you. I think you are well, an Esquire. Esquire. Yeah. yeah what do you say? A little names. less than a knight, but more than a lord, I think. Or mm. yeah, I forget the quick uh, I mean, description. But is it because he had a law degree? No. It was just because he thought he was special. Oh. And I think the same way of you. Oh, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. You, you generate <laughs> the elderly. Go ahead now. All right. I mean, the, the clear-cut odds-on favorite to win is Gary Oldman, who plays Winston Churchill in The Darkest Hour. I don't even know if there's a close second. Why don't we just talk about Oldman and how you great he was? You know who they say the close second is? I want to hear. Timothy Chalamet. Uh-huh. Which I don't understand. And that was a um, love story. It was a love story. It was a gay love story. Yep, in Europe. Uh, it was a beautifully photographed movie. And yeah, oh, yeah, in the, Italy. The scenery, God, it was beautiful. my gosh, it was beautiful. Every scene in that was like a painting almost. Yeah. You know, he but, plays a 17-year-old who has a, a summer, summer fling romance. with his father's grad student because his father's a professor. Who is mid-20s. 23, 24. Yeah. You know, I've read somewhere where we're glorifying what is illegal in the United States. Right. You know, and I didn't really then, think about then, it like the, that. The answer I saw was they said, well, okay, but you know, in Italy, the age of consent is 14. Mm, those but, Europeans but always... It's, but still, it's it's a movie that's playing in the United States. Right. You know, and yeah. and, 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 and in this age of sexual harassment yeah. and, and sexual power over someone, and there's such a big to-do, here comes this movie that in a sense, glorifies the older man, younger boy situation and says, isn't it wonderful? Right. And it did bother me. Yeah. Uh, it didn't during the movie. It, it did upon reflection. And, you know, I also thought, like, for instance, Brokeback Mountain. I bought that love story. But that was two adults. Yeah, but I felt that love. Mm. This one didn't really nope. move me. Nope. It was beautifully mm. shot. Mm -hmm. It was a love story. But it didn't move me like like i said and i've I seen others that I, did I, I, and, and i didn't come out thinking boy this is a new young talent who's really going to be a yeah. great star no couldn't his love interest have got just as much acclaim i don't think either one of them were army great hammer. yeah army hammer I, I thought he was as good <laughs> as Chalamet. did you a lot know? of people thought that he would you know would would get a nomination and he didn't that was one of the big surprises that army hammer didn't get. right and Michael Stusgard, or the father. Oh, the father, the yeah. Father, they, he had a that, great speech at the end. That last speech at the end, yeah, the end of the movie, excellent. and people said, that's it, that's his Oscar right. winning yeah. speech. But nope, no, it didn't happen. And um, did you know Chalamet was in Lady Bird? I did. Yeah. He's also in Hostiles. Oh, he's not. You didn't I don't know think, that? No, and I don't think people realize that. <laughs> They're not talking a lot about him being in these movies. No, because he in, in Hostiles, it's like, one uh, quick and gone, yeah. yeah. But he has a, a pretty solid role in, in Lady, Lady Bird. Bird. Yeah, yeah, he does. And then also in Lady Bird is the kid from Manchester by the Oh, yeah, Lucas Hedges. Lucas Hedges. Who's been in a bunch lately. Yeah. He seems to be in a lot of these good movies. Yeah. Um, and we talk about Daniel Kaluuya from Get Out. Um, nothing I like him Kaluuya. Kaluuya, I like that better. Yeah. Nothing spectacular about his performance. I felt like it could have probably been done by just about anybody. And, you know, he's in Black Panther, too. Ah. And, he, and he's, you know, his role is insignificant in that. I, it wasn't insignificant in Get Out, but I just, I don't know. I guess because my whole fixation on that movie is, it's it's a horror movie. Right. Uh, it's the Stepford Wives with with males or, right. or, or race based on yeah. race rather than gender. Uh, I just couldn't take it that seriously. I thought it had some twists to it that were really, you know, interesting. But the movie overall didn't impress me, and therefore his role didn't impress me. Right. It was just an early, good movie that was setting the tone and wetting our appetite for later movies down the road. 
I think we're both a little surprised it's gotten the acclaim that it did. I, I, I am. But what did you think of Daniel Day-Lewis? Because this is supposedly his farewell role. He's retiring from movies and uh, is, is the fashion designer in The Phantom Thread. Uh, I liked it more than you. Yes, you, you the complaint I hear you say is it's pretentious. It was. Okay, I agree. I don't disagree. Can right. it be good and pretentious? No. No. <laughs> no. So once you label something it pretentious, was, that's it. Was, it it was too pretentious to be good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it was weird. It was. It was. It was weird. I'm kind of weird. I, that's what I'm realizing. Well, but you're in a, weird in a good way. That yeah. was weird in a bad way. Uh, so no. And and again, I think if that had been anybody but Daniel Day Lewis giving that performance, it would have been like meh. That's what made me think. That's what made you convince me that he probably shouldn't be getting the acclaim. I don't. That if he, it was someone else in this if movie, if it's somebody else, no, this movie yeah, would not I be like getting talked about. I like Daniel Day Lewis. I. I'm sure that when he was sewing those dresses in that movie, he was doing it just like a, a professional right, designer, right, yeah. seamstress, whatever, would. I mean, I could pours tell. his heart and soul into you know, all He was balls. feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but no, it was it was it was too pretentious, and I just didn't. Whereas you weren't as impressed with Denzel Washington, because you didn't think his character was consistent. Yeah, I thought. Yeah. Yeah. I liked his character. I did not like them. We're talking about. Roman J. Israel Esquire. The movie Roman itself, not so good, but Denzel was excellent. And Denzel just doesn't give a bad performance. No, he doesn't. I mean, he is just... I'm still his... mad that he won for Training Day over uh, Russell Crowe for A Beautiful Mind. I still have not been able to get over that one. Okay. So I'm like anti-Denzel. Well, I it can't go. let it go. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> but I did see this one, and I thought he was a great character. The movie was kind of all over the place, I thought. It was like they wrote a great character, but not a great film. Uh, that, that's what I Boy, feel. Boy, that was that was really that very deep. Yeah, critical. Yeah, it went to go. <laughs> that's what but you got then, me for. Then we've got Gary Oldman. Yeah, he, he's magnificent. Absolutely, he's magnificent. I mean, he just became Winston Churchill. I had yeah. no thought in my mind at any Gary time Oldman. about. Boy, Gary Oldman's really doing a good job. No, yeah, me neither. Right? No, I felt I like I was watching Winston Churchill. Well, Winston Churchill was really <laughs> smart. You know, so it, this category should be pretty easy, then, right? We think. It's Gary Oldman. It will be Gary Oldman. Um, it's the Gary Oldman show in yes. this category, isn't it? But let me ask you this, and you probably know this, but we'll surprise people there. <laughs> Gary Oldman was married to one of the other nominees for the Oscars. Really? Mm -hmm. You didn't know this? No, obviously not. <laughs> oh. How about that? I don't even know who to guess. Leslie Manville. That's her. No way. That's her. He was married. <laughs> Woohoo! That was a setup. Oh, I don't know. No, I really do. I'm just looking at some of my notes, and I didn't even have anyone to guess. Leslie Manville. Wow. That, was, that Gary Ullman is her ex-husband. Wow. How about that? That is pretty impressive. And I liked her, by the way, even though he didn't in Phantom Three. No, I did like you her. Did. I thought she was probably yeah. the best thing in it. Yeah. Uh, she but, played a, but, a, a odd duo with her brother. Yeah. yeah, and she was the only voice of sanity in the movie. Right, maybe. Me. Yeah, you know, maybe. Well, best actor, Gary Oldman. Yep, Gary Oldman. So, we'll take another break, and we'll talk back for best actress. <laughs> 